Welcome to another episode of Jay Leno's Garage. As you know, we're all about unique driving experiences here. And it doesn't get more unique than this. This is the actual Batman car from The Dark Knight, the Chris Nolan film, the, the hugely widely successful Batman series. This is their latest car. And unlike a lot of TV and movie prop cars that are either CGI or, you know, not a real car, this is a real car that runs and drives. And uh, <laughs> we'll go for a drive in it. It's pretty outrageous. Let's meet uh, the folks behind it. Dave, Dave Stanger, Dave, come on in. Dave, come you're on one in. of the uh, transportation Jake? supervisor. What's the exact title? A transportation studio driver. Oh, okay, very good. So they put you in charge of this today? Yep, we uh, haul it around all over the country, yeah. all over the world. It goes everywhere that uh, there's a, uh, an, a venue or an event, it goes everywhere. I mean, it's a pretty impressive looking yeah. vehicle. One thing I know is about Chris Nolan films, he really seems to go for realism. Yes. The vehicles have to yes. do what they do. And to me, that's why I always like in the Bourne films, the cars really do make the yes. jump. Yeah. Everything has to be realistic. And, and that's what I thought was pretty neat about this, because people are pretty sophisticated now. You can spot fake, right. you know, CGI. Yeah. Was this actually jumped and yes. went down the road? Yes. Tell us about the vehicle. How, how long did it take to build it? Uh, it took them about a year to build the first prototype. Yeah. And uh, it, it, then the, the rest of the other cars that came after that came pretty quick. They, they built them pretty quick. Is this based on some sort of existing vehicle? I mean, just the track no. of it and the way it's no. up? It's all custom, complete from the ground up. Chassis, body, brake, suspension, everything is from the ground up, co totally custom. And it uses a Chevy engine, correct? Yes, ZZ3 small block Chevy. Okay, very good. I mean, who actually built it? Warner Brothers, did they farm it out to one of the custom guys? Yeah, there, there's a special effects uh, car building crew that builds right. them. Uh, I think the, uh, the original Batman from a uh, car from Batman was built by the same group of guys. Oh, okay. Yeah, I thought it was sort of the most realistic of yeah. all the Batman yeah, cars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it really does move yes. and go down the street, and it looks like yeah. it looks like some something you drive in Afghanistan yes. or Iran or something of that the, nature. All these are uh, uh, a modular. That they can replace all of this that gets damaged. It can be all replaced in a very short period of time. And what is the top speed of the vehicle? Any um, idea? I think they've had it up to 85 or really? 90 uh, on the on the set. That was about it. Yeah. Well, well, 85 or 90 on the set? That's yes, pretty good. That's, that's pretty a big good. set. Yeah, well, it's it's Lower Wacker Drive in Chicago. Oh, okay. <laughs> so they can get it going pretty good, and the stunt guys were quite uh, well-versed in the way it, it drove. Yeah, I can't imagine <laughs> uh, being in Chicago and just happen to be walking down the street seeing this yeah, yeah. coming at you. Yeah. I mean, it looks like the ultimate yeah. urban assault vehicle. Yeah. It looks like something Schwarzenegger would yeah. actually drive. Yeah, this is very powerful. <laughs> <laughs> I love the fact that it has wipers on it, because you have yeah, sometimes you have to fight crime in the rain. <laughs> yeah, and that's just the way it is. I don't want to fight crime today, but it's raining and you've got to put on the wipers to fight crime. Now in the movie, it's jet powered. Obviously it's yes. not jet yes. powered in real life, but even that was not CGI. He actually had yes. flames coming out of it. How did yes. they do that? That's a hot air balloon burner. Oh, okay. Installed inside. It has propane tanks, two propane tanks that are uh, in, in the engine compartment. I mean, this yeah. looks yeah. real. I mean, this I, is built for, for, for the stunts that it did. Yeah. As you can see, the size of the, these shocks here, it has uh, uh, more than a foot of travel, uh, and it has a progressive suspension. As you as you go over some of the slow bumps and and low bumps, uh, it it very very soft. Yeah. As you begin to work it harder, it gets stiffer and stiffer and. Uh, what does it weigh? Any idea? Uh, it weighs about as much as your normal full-size Suburban. Really? That's yeah. all? Okay. It's, it's fairly lightweight. Maybe okay. maybe a full-size pickup. Oh, That's about okay. It. it has a NASCAR-style rear axle. Right. The axles can be pulled out uh, without removing the tires or wheels. It has a quick change uh, capability for gear. The gear ratio right. can be changed. Um, and this actually did jumping shots, too. A lot of jumping. Really? A lot of jumping. And how many did they build? Because a lot of times with movie cars, you build five and you wreck four. Right? Yeah, there's about seven of them. Oh, the seven? Yeah. Okay. Including a buck car with no engine or transmission. Okay. And then um, 
and then the, the other working cars. Each one of them did a specific job. One was a jumper, one was a speedy see, car, yeah. one was a stationary uh, shot And are car. these actual functioning exhausts yeah. for the Chevy engine? Yeah, okay. that's where the uh, exhaust comes out. Oh, very cool. What did it cost to build? I can't imagine. Uh, we've heard any, anywhere from a half to a million. Really? Yeah. That's just for the first one and the other. Yes, come a, come a little bit easier. Wow, you see why these movies cost so much. Yeah. Vehicle. Vehicle. What are these tires <laughs> off of? These are, the, these are uh, super super mudders. The, uh, they use them on off-road and rock climbers. And that's not a big wheel, yeah. is that? What's that, about a 15 yeah, or 17? 17-inch wheel, okay. it looks like. I want to show them in the next. Here's a book on the build of the vehicle. Yes. And it's uh, pretty extensive. I mean, it's got all the drawings. Yep. See, there's the concept drawings and... It's amazing how much work goes into these. It's just unbelievable. Yeah, there's, oh, there's a car from the 40s. It yeah. looks like some kind of Delahaye. I'm not sure what that is. <laughs> but uh, how, can they, how can people get this book? Do you get it through Warner Brothers? Yes, you can get it on the studio tour in the, book, in the, in the store, in the studio tour okay. store. Okay. I mean, is there, can they go online and get it somewhere? Uh, I believe you probably could. Okay. So check. It. It's called Batmobile, The Complete History yeah. by Mark Cota Vaz. Yeah. Okay. Very, very cool. Good. But uh, yeah, I mean, all kinds of neat stuff. And, can we actually take this for a ride? Of course. Oh. Here's a dumb question. Yeah. How do you get in it? Got to get in through the top. Oh, Got to get in through the top. Got to get in through the top, Jay. Let's give that a shot. All right, we're ready to take it for a ride. And you see, we have our, our <laughs> special effects guy, Hobart Lunt. He's, uh, well, actually, he's pretty famous. You you worked on all the Dukes of Hazard cars, right? Yes. You did all those shows, all the cool yes. stuff for Warner Brothers. You've been with them a long time. 38 years. Wow. Yep. So how old were you when you started doing the Dukes of Hazard? 18. 18. Yeah. Okay, that's job security. <laughs> yes. So now you need two people to run this, one right. to drive and one to do what? the special effects? Exactly. All right, let's see how you get in this thing. I right, put one foot up on here. You're going, you're going, you're going. Okay, here Perfect. you go. And just put your foot right here. All right, this is... All right. And watch your head. I don't want to do a Britney getting into this thing. <laughs> and then your other foot can go down. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Couldn't be easier. Let's go fight crime. Keep going. It just drops way down. Well, it in. drops way down. Yeah. You should be able to fit. Yeah, there you go. Wow, this is cool. <laughs> okay. Right? Here. Those are left and right brake, oh, like okay. a tractor, you know, gotcha. they slide. This is the halon system. Gotcha. Okay, and the shifter's over there. Which is it's, the shifter? It's like a BNM, you know, just pull down, it has notches. Oh, I gotcha, yeah. So you can't over miss shift. Boy, the build quality is really impressive. No, it's, it's impressive, let and me tell you. They did a wonderful job. They really, really tried to make it, you know, as safe as possible. I mean, did they start with an existing roll cage they, from they, some they, kind yeah. of vehicle? They, do a, a, they just build a roll cage from scratch. Okay. They have like 15 to 20 guys. Each guy does only one thing. Brakes, suspension, right. you know, drivetrain. But it looks like this is some kind of desert sled and then they put all the cladding on it. No, they built it from... Wow. They, they just, everything's done from, se you know, separate. Yeah, very impressive. And see, you can see these shocks. Yeah. They had to have this thing to be able to jump four feet across the building. They had to jump. I can't imagine being it. Did you do the jump? Were you no, no, the jump? no. Seems the, like you would hit pretty hard. Yeah, you did hard. Wow. Yeah, they, they, they're they like full five-point harnesses. Yeah, yeah. Nomex suits, the whole deal. They're they are full on. And we have everything in here. We've got uh, Halon fire extinguisher. We've got... When, uh, they, when they wet the streets down, yeah. Then you can use your, your two brake systems to oh, slide yeah. the car either gotcha. direction. Gotcha, I see. Like a handbrake. Yeah, that's why all the all the movies are wet down. So you have two fire systems? Yeah, two fire systems. Okay, two separate ones or the same? Two separate. Okay. All right, very nice. The guy gets in problems, he wants and, to be able and to... And the wipers actually work. That makes They do laugh. work. They do work. Well, when you're driving on a wet street, yeah. it, it does, it helps. And you got demist as well.
exhausted after a day of fighting crime. This thing is really cool, and the coolest thing is it's a real car. This was built by real craftsmen who know their stuff, and uh, it's really fast, and it's a lot of fun to drive. <laughs> and uh, again, I want to thank the guys at uh, Warner Brothers for bringing this by, and uh, check out this studio tour. Go see this in person. You won't be disappointed. See you guys next week. Mm-hmm. <laughs>